Hi everyone. It is March 21. It is spring and the Northeast is having another snow event, another nor'easter, five since January and four in the past three weeks. All right, you guys up north Northeast. Tell me what's going on there. Because they call this a nor'easter, and as I'm reading these articles, I'm hearing just inches of snow. Though inches of snow in New York, that could create an awful lot of problems. But um, snow is falling at the rate of one to two inches per hour in parts of western Long Island and northern New Jersey into Pennsylvania and Maryland, including near LaGuardia, Newark, Liberty, these airports. Five inches of snow reported in parts of Brooklyn and Queens, four inches accumulated in Central Park, one inch Dulles Airport, two inches Reagan National Airport, two inches per hour. I heard on the radio yesterday that they're expected to get two feet of snow. Two feet of snow. Yeah, power outages are likely. Again. Again. Where's that map? Power outages likely in the darker purple. Possible in the pink more power outages. All right. Well, we all know about weather modification. We all know that these weather events have man's hand in them. Messy evening commute expected. All right. The reason why I'm doing this is because I received comments from people who live in the Northeast and they were saying that the snow, some are afraid of flooding, but others are saying that the snow is not really melting. It's more evaporating, not even leaving wet spots. So let me know what's happening with these weather events that you are experiencing up north. I go to IntelliCast. I went there this morning. What do we see? A nice hop ring or two harp rings. We see a nice defined line between rain and snow here and we see ultra low frequencies. These very straight bands of lines, those are the ultra low frequencies. So once again we know that this storm is being manipulated and you know, after a while, you get really tired of posting these videos, saying the same thing, hoping people will wake up, but some do, most don't. We've got squares and nice round images of precipitation right here. And that is off the Massachusetts coast. Got ultra low frequencies coming out of Long Island. The whole thing, once again, is a manufactured nor'easter that, having gone to IntelliCast earlier this morning to check out what was happening. And I see that this storm has not moved anywhere. So they're holding this snow event in place. Right here. It does not go any further north. That's it. 
So they are wanting you to get an awful lot of snow. But based on my read of articles, I have not read the two feet yet. Will I? Could. I? Yeah, they're holding it in place. They're wanting you to get really pounded. Ultra low frequencies as well. Right here. Coming out of Cape Cod, like they're coming out of Long Island. And boy, this gets very, very exhausting. It's exhausting just watching these events and reading about them and seeing them happen. It's really exhausting for the people who live in these areas. And I have a friend in Maine who is telling me that she is really She's in her 60s. She's on the roof, getting snow off of her home, the constant shoveling. All of this wears people down. She's worried about flood flooding. Um, how are you guys doing in the Northeast? Aren't you getting tired of man causing these events to occur. Ultra low frequencies, North Carolina, they're all over the place. They're not leaving uh, much question anymore. I mean, it, it's obvious. Look at this, how it just does not go any further north. But when you look at this, no, Mother Nature does not operate in perfect circles. Mother Nature is imperfect. Frequencies can bring this about. And they are bringing it about. 